All right, let's talk turbo fuel. Do you need it? Absolutely not. Are you going to spend dozens of hours trying to get it? Of course, why wouldn't you? So I'm going to show you how to build a basic turbo fuel factory, how to get your turbo fuel running. So first things first, in order to get turbo fuel, it is not available in uh, your basic playthrough. You need to um, find some hard drives and actually unlock it as an alternate recipe. And you can't directly unlock turbo fuel. You have to get its predecessor first, which is compacted coal. So if you have not unlocked both of those yet, you can check by pressing X and searching compacted coal, and it will show up if you do have it, and turbo fuel, and that will show up if you have it. If those don't show up, you need to go find yourself some hard drives because you do not have the alternate recipes that you need for it. Um, compacted coal comes first, so just go start harvesting hard drives and um, researching them in your MAM. And once you do that, you're going to get compacted coal first, and then turbo fuel should come out um, after the next couple of hard drive searches. But you will not get turbo fuel until you have researched that compacted coal. Let's jump up above the base here, and you can see there's my turbo fuel plant right below. And I'm going to take you over to where we're assembling that compacted coal. So here we are at the compacted coal plant, and you can see that this train is uh, pretty much essential for it. It is bringing in the sulfur. The sulfur is dropping the sulfur off at that station right there, running down these lines, and going into my assemblers. Sulfur is located just off in the distance. You can see here, there's my sulfur plant, and that's where I currently am. And the coal is going to be right underneath me. I'll show you that in one second. Coal and sulfur coming together right here. You can see the coal on the bottom and the sulfur on the top. And there are my coal miners down below, setting it up on the conveyor belts. I like this use um, of the two splitters on top of each other for my assemblers because it allows me to split them up, keep it nice and neat and organized. And there's my compacted coal going out the back over the train line and into this freight platform here to be picked up by that train and brought back to the turbo fuel factory. Let's head back down to our turbo fuel factory now. So now that you've gone out, you've researched both those, you have your compacted coal, you have the recipe for compacted coal, and you have the recipe for turbo fuel, let's build our turbo fuel factory. First thing you're gonna need is oil. You're gonna need a lot of it, especially if you plan on getting a decent sized turbo fuel factory like what I got going on here. So I found this fuel reserve that I wasn't using for anything else. You can see my main base. I started off in the Rocky Desert. Doesn't want to move. Started off in the Rocky Desert over here and all my fuel, uh, oil I'm pulling from here. So I went way down here, down south to this little lake down here. And this lake is nice because you have all the necessary components for turbo fuel. You got your oil over here and then my compacted coal. I have coal here and sulfur here and those are going to be put together over here to um, bring everything together as turbo fuel. So you're gonna need all of those things to find a good location. Don't just dive into this willy nilly because you're gonna have to bring things from all over the map. So let's take a look at my oil. I have two uh, pumps here. Each pump is pumping at 600, but as we know, um, update three, our mark one pipes are only allowing 300 to go through at a time. So I have a total of 600 in both of these pipes. So my 600 is coming down here. Um, I'm making, just in these my first line of basic refineries, I'm making fuel, and fuel is, I'll show you the recipe for that, fuel is going to be pulling in 60 crude oil per minute, so that 600 is going to be broken up into 10 refineries, and I'm getting resin and fuel from that, and don't forget about this resin because you do need it to go somewhere. So you can see if I back up here, I have seven refineries on this side with my pipes running directly into them. And then I have three refineries over here, all making that fuel, basic fuel being pumped into this center, central pipe here. Um, I do need to put that resin somewhere. So you can see I have my resin, oops, sorry. I have my resin coming out, running down my line, going underneath the level down here. And it's going to come out to a small little plastic factory that I built off to the side just to deal with that overflow. So it's going, uh, my resin's going into there. It's making plastic. This is collecting some of that plastic that I'm using for these fluid buffers. Um, and then the rest is actually coming back up here to an awesome sink and just going in there for overflow. You don't want resin to back up because it will clog all of your refineries and then you can't make any more fuel and your um, 
power will drop, and there's nothing worse in this game than a power outage. This um, fuel is being pumped into the refineries. The refineries are taking 22.5 um, fuel and 15 compacted coal. So my compacted coal coming in from my train line up above and flowing into each one of these factories on its own. Um, so the refinery is pumping out 18.8 uh, cubic meters of turbo fuel, which is then running into these lines back here. And these lines are running directly to my fuel generators. And then I have another buffer just to catch that extra turbo fuel on the way. So that's my turbo fuel factory. Again, its uses are limited at this point. I'm hoping that they expand upon that because it is a lot of effort to get this. So I can't imagine that it's only being used for these fuel generators and for a little extra bang for your buck in um, the tractors. So if you were planning on putting your, that turbo fuel into your jetpack and blasting yourself to the moon, unfortunately, you are not going to be able to do that because it does not work. You can see I have 33 of it right here in my pack, and I emptied out all my regular fuel, and I get nothing from my jetpack. It can, however, be used in your vehicles. So I can open this up, and I can fire some packaged turbo fuel in there. And there we go. I have a truck. Oh, here we go a tractor running on turbo fuel, um, and it gives you a little bit more bang for your buck in that. So that's it for turbo fuel. Get out there, build your turbo fuel factory, and we'll see what we can use it for in future updates.